Hello there, this is Stephanie again, and I'm coming back to you with another Timu haul. And I just wanted to show you a few things that I received. I received two of these. They're called solar pillar lights. And um, I got two to go on the outside of my, uh, the entrance to my, to my front porch um, is gated. So, uh, I got this to go on either side of the gate on the, um, there's cement pillars there or cement, yeah, cement gate, cement fence with the, with an iron gate, basically. And these are going to go on either side of the gate on top of the cement. So, um, I paid $14.98 for both of them each. $14.98 each. So, and they came with the bracket. The user manual. And two screws for for a mounting. Okay, next, um, some dog toys and shoes for my three dogs. Um, Sweet Pea, who's the Jack Russell uh, terrier mix Chihuahua, Jack, who's a poodle, and um, Latte, who's Jack's daughter, uh, another poodle mix. With uh, she's mixed with I can never think remember the name of that little bitty barky dog. Anyway, these are teething chews, chewy toys, and. This would be perfect for Latte because she chews and tears up everything, no matter what it is. So if she can chew and tear this up, I would be really impressed. There is nothing this girl won't chew up and destroy. Um, got some Barky. Me, Barky. Noisemakers. This is a dog. And Jack actually plays with his. Sweet Pea, not so much anymore. She's older. Um, Latte, all she wants to do is just destroy it. This is a, a, a piggy, piglet. Did I say this was a dog here? And then the duck. Okay. And then for these, I paid a dollar ninety-eight each for each one of these items. Okay, now these are some knick-knacky items um, that I got. I got, I actually got six of these. Two for me, two for my mom, and two for my brother. And um, these will really come in handy for my brother because he walks everywhere. He doesn't have a car. He actually gave his car back to my dad when long years ago, over 20 years ago. So, but he still has a driver's license. But he doesn't want a car so he walks a lot and he lives a very primitive life so but I got him these so when he goes to the grocery store he can use these to carry his bags um, they were a dollar 88 a piece and I got six of these um, I think it was four four blues and two greens okay Oh, this item here is actually, I'm going to be using it as something like this, like a dipper for dipping. Um, it can also be used as an ashtray, but that's not what I'm using it for. So I'm using it as part of my crafting um, stuff. So um, I had already purchased this in another haul, previous haul. Every time I do a haul, I'll actually purchase one or two of these. So, just so I can have in my crafting stash. But these are, you um, you can put them on the wall or you can, um, let's see here. They come in packs of twos. Oh, they have it taped. Okay. And you can either put them on the wall like that. And use them as hangers to hang stuff on 
or um, you can use them as knobs and I will more than likely be using them as knobs on things that I make like uh, my um, like these things here I'll more than likely be using them as knobs to go on like boxes um, not those boxes because they have a little uh, cut out where you can pull but um, these are other boxes that I make or that I have and they come two in a pack. I pay. I bought this took this go around. I bought three packs. They were ninety eight cents a piece, and they come two in a pack. So every time I do an order from Timu, I will have at least one pack of these in that order, just so I can um, have enough in my stash where I don't have to worry about trying to find some. This right here. I bought two of these. I paid a dollar eighty-nine cents for them, and I bought. Actually, I bought three. Um, I bought two for me, two for me, and one for my mom. Um, I just have to. I've given her hers and got it set up, but I just have to. I don't have it set up to where she can um, use it yet, because I need to set mine up first, and then I'll go and finish setting hers up. Um, but she has the yellow one. I have a purple and a blue one. No, she has the blue one. I have the yellow and the purple. But these were a dollar ninety-eight cents a piece, and they're key finders. Key finders, so you don't lose your keys, because um, I, every single time I go to my mom's house and she wants to go somewhere, the first thing she says, if she doesn't say, "Well, let me use the bathroom." right when we're getting ready to go she says where are my keys <laughs> so it's either one or the other so I got her one of these too <laughs> and I got one for each of my key rings because I have two cars so um, and I usually say where my keys at when I'm at the office and, so <laughs> and you know they can't be anywhere but in my purse or in my desk <laughs> but yeah so I got me two and my mom one. And again, they were a dollar eighty-nine each. Alright, next is and you've seen this on a previous video. This is a, a incense burner. And of course it says it's one piece, but I beg to differ. It's actually two pieces. Because I can't figure out how to make this one piece. Um, I'm going to presume these are going to be for cones. Cone incense. And these are for um, the stick incense. Okay. So it's the stick. And I'm going to say that's for the cone there. And these were, this was $2.88. And I also got one. This will be another item as well that I put in my basket whenever I order from Timu. This will be another item because I want to have one of these in each of my rooms um, in the house. Because I never seem to have enough incense burners. And I have stick holders but not holders for the cones. Or the cones just don't work out properly. Okay. Next, I bought this in remembrance of my father who passed away back in 2016. Um, I paid $1.98 and I'm going to hang it in my car. <clears throat> and everyone knows what the red... Uh, Goodness. I thought this came already on the thing. The cardinal. Everyone knows what the what it means if you see a red cardinal. Um it's your loved ones coming to visit you. One of your loved ones. And I see these I used to see them more often than I see them now, but yeah. This is plastic. 
And it says I have an angel in heaven. I call him dad. And it's plastic, but it's so pretty. And I may get another one just to have on my key ring. But, and maybe two more. One for uh, the two car, one for the other car. And then one for my key ring. Or my purse. Um, so, I'll be ordering a couple more of these. Again, they were $1.98. And next is let's see here. this thing here. This is a pizza cutter. I paid a dollar ninety eight for it. And that closes like that. I thought I ordered two of these, but evidently I did not. But it just goes like that to cut your pizzas. And this doesn't lock because it constantly comes open. But uh, yeah, it doesn't lock. Okay, next, this is a shower head. And I paid three dollars and eighty-nine cents for it, and it's got all the rave reviews on Timu. So I said, let me order one of these. It did. It only came with just the head. So um, in this position, push back, it's off, and the arm position is it sticking out. That's the arm position, and then it has these different settings one two three four five so it has five different settings one two three four and then probably all of them is five but it only came with just the head and that's all I need I don't need the the um, roper or the hose so um, I got this and I needed to change out my shower head so that's the reason why I bought it. And again, I paid $3.89 for this. So, I'm thinking it was a good buy. I read the reviews and I looked at all the videos that people provided for that. So, hopefully, mine will work. Okay, and now, this is a USB hub that I need for my craft desk. I should have two of these. One for my work desk. Actually, I should have three. One for my work desk, one for my uh, personal desk, and one for my craft desk. But this particular one is going on my craft desk. And there's three, six, seven, seven? Yeah, just seven. Oh, and it even has a plug for it if you need uh, a DC need to hook up a DC plug but yeah these are this is a, a USB hub I've never seen one as big as this um, for this I paid $2.98 so with it being that cheap I can get a couple more okay um, this right here I bought two of these and my mom snatched one up from me. I actually opened my packages. They came yesterday and I waited for the mailman to um, deliver this before I went to my mom's because I had a lot of stuff in here that I wanted to give her. So instead of opening up, opening them up here at the house, I went to my mom's house in Lakeland and I opened them up there. And she snatched this. I had two, one for each vehicle. And she snatched it out of my hand and said, oh, I need this. So I had to give it to her. You know, you can't say no to mom. Never. Never say no to your mother. Okay? <laughs> at least at least say no before she asks. Because if you say no after she asks, to me that's a sin. But if you can get a no in there before she asks for it, then, you know, you're good to go. Um... But yeah, I got this for my, uh, basically this one is going in my truck. 
It's called the 3M1. And it has the, you fill this up right here, the reservoir. And it doesn't have a, it says it goes up to 140 liters or milliliters in the reservoir. And this part does not come out. This is the spray part here. But you fill up your reservoir with water, close it up. And this is your spray that you spray on your windows, in your car, or in your home. And then this is the squeegee. And this is the uh, part here. Oh. Yeah, you're going to have to spray for, to clean the windows on this because it doesn't automatically go up there and get it wet. Um, so you got to spray to get this uh, wet. And um, you spray your windows and squeegee them clean and the main my main reason for buying this was because um, I bought a new car and um, it's, I call it my truck it's an SUV and there's something wrong with my reservoir for my uh, windshield wiper fluid I could put a whole jug of that windshield wiper fluid in my car and by the time I go to my mom's house, come back home, she lives about 40 miles from me, um, and come back home and my window is full of bugs. And you know how many bugs they got in Florida? Millions, especially the love bugs, and they are a mess. So I got this basically so whenever I'm traveling from her house, because if I'm in the truck, I always need to stop to clean my windows off because the I think the reservoir might have a hole in it um, so because I never have water in there so I don't know what the deal is with that so this is basically for my for my truck and I'll get another one for my car but my mom has the second one that I bought and I'm not sure if I told you the price of this but I paid uh, for the two, I paid three ninety eight each for each one. Okay, this this hanger goes in here, and you hang it up in your closet or where wherever you want to hang it up. Um, and it actually these are slots for like your jewelry or whatever you want to, you know, store in them. I got them for jewelry because I have a lot of earrings um, a lot of earrings so um, this is what I bought this for the jewelry and on the back of it you can actually use this to hang hang it on bars or whatever um, to keep it you know s sitting up straight but I'm just going to hang it on my on one hanger in my closet and for this I paid a dollar ninety eight okay okay this is the purse I thought it was bigger it's got a um they, I think they call it a lunch bag basically a purse lunch bag for work on the site but it's a purse and um, I'm not gonna use it for a lunch bag but I have like my makeup in different little uh, little compartmental things and I'll show you here in just a second what I mean um, so I'm gonna I bought these by it was like maybe 20 in a pack I'm not sure how many it was but I got a set of black ones and a set of white ones off of uh, Amazon. And so I have my makeup separated. Like I have my lipsticks and lip glosses in one. I have the mascara and uh, with maybe my, uh, found, not foundation, but the powder in another one. I have like uh, medicine, all my medicines in one. Um, so I have several of these in my purse. So I'm, I bought this specifically for the purpose of putting these, <laughs> putting them in this and letting this be the part that, uh, that's a part of my purse. But yeah, so 
it's more than likely not going to be used as a lunch bag more than likely not so that's what this is and for this I paid $8.99 but it does have a nice big inside it has some pockets in there this here on the picture in Tumu it actually had a jug of water sitting there in it and um, then on this side it doesn't have a pocket um, this was in the bottom so I guess this must hang from somewhere probably from the from this part here it hangs but it's a nice little um, purse it's got an outside pocket on the front and it's really nice um, I thought it would be a lot bigger but it's not there's actually a pocket here that's hidden right there um, so it's gonna be nice I can't wait to use it okay next I got this is actually a squeegee for your floor um, it's the one that has the uh, the tall handle so I got this for my floors um, my floors in my kitchen and my bathroom are tiled and I can also use it on the garage floor as well as the uh, my driveway uh, yeah on my driveway I can use it for that too but that's what this is uh, telescoping is that what you is that what it's called telescope okay when I can figure out how to put this thing on we will be good put that in there this part here is out that's the bottom that goes into this section here It's in there and this actually moves around it doesn't move back and forth but it moves side to side and then the uh, top of it goes here this part goes here I believe does it I would think so maybe not because I'm thinking it locks up there and if that's not right, then it has... To, oh, no, that goes in the bottom. I got this wrong, y'all. I got it wrong. Actually, no. I can keep this like that. I just got this backwards. This goes... I got it backwards. See that notch right there? This goes where that notch is right here. And that's to keep it on so it goes like this. So it'll stay on see it locks in the place right there and that's how you know it's locked and so then this end gets the top there so now we're good to go I think and there you go pure and simple that easy cut and dry but this is going to work good if you want to just like if you really like your floors when you do your floors if you get too much water on them you can just squeegee them off um, or you know for your windows outside too you know you could put the holes on your windows and use this here to squeegee the water off so they don't get those water spots but for this I paid seven oh wait wait Seven ninety-eight, seven dollars and ninety-eight cents is what I paid for this. Um, and then next we have houndstooth. I love houndstooth, but um, I got a set of these: the small, medium, and large. This one is the large, um, and I. I actually opened it up and pulled it out yesterday while I was at my mom's and that was the small one and it was huge um, but they were all three were three dollars and sixty nine cents each and I love houndstooth 
um, that's a pattern, one of the patterns I really like. But um, I got the small, medium, and large, and this one is the large. So I'm not gonna open it up because it is huge. Maybe in my review, I'll, I'll have it open and all set up and just have a picture of it from my review. Now this, I actually got this thinking I was going to use it. It's actually a folder, um, a plastic folder thingy. I paid $5.49. I ordered two of them. And it's pretty big. It's more, it's probably a six size. Um, they snap open and close and it's like a accordion file holder. And I actually bought these so I could put my, um, my, uh, uh, my stamps, my silicone stamps and my, um, some of my metal dies in them. So I'll probably have to put them in like another um, see-through thing before I put them in each area. But that's what these are used for. Is that. And I bought two. Again, I paid $5.49 for each one. And they come with the, the folder identification for each uh, folder. Uh, sleeves for sorting. Okay, I'm going to show you these now. These actually are, they came in the last um, haul, but I didn't show them because I didn't take them out of the bag until now. But um, these are those um, acoustic, the acoustic pads that you have to water down and then they expand. I didn't look up the price on these either. I'm sorry. I'll let you know what they are, uh, how much they cost. But there's 10 in this pack. And you can tell it's been, the uh, air has been sucked out of them. But these are gonna be going on my pad, or actually these will go in my laundry room window. Um, because I know when the when I get deliveries or people come to the house and uh, the dogs are in the laundry room area because they can hear people come up. So they'll go to where they can hear the noise and start barking like crazy. And it, it scares people, believe me. You should see some of the reactions I get. Um, and then I can't even talk because they're so loud. But yeah, these are going in my laundry room window and probably um, in the windows in my garage as well. So um, there again, there's three or not three, 10 pieces for this particular item in each bag. And I got two, two of these bags. Okay, I just looked this up and it's actually 12 of these pieces they're um, 1 by 12 by 12 and they're called studio soundproofing wedges fire resistance soundproof um, I bought two and I paid ten dollars and eighteen cent each for each set of two there and this is what mine look like that right there okay and it looks like they're spraying adhesive on the backs so that it can go on the wall. Um, that's step five. And step three is wringing the water out of them. Step one is opening up the packaging. And step two must be watering them down. Step three is wringing them out. Step four is um, draping them are opening them all up and draping them. Five is spraying the adhesive on the back and six is attaching them to your wall. Okay, this next item is the 24 piece pack um, of these acoustic uh, wall things. Here, let me play the video for you so you can kind of see 
what I mean when I'm trying to describe them. This is how you start, you know, when you open up the package, you use them. Um, you soak them up and everything, and then you wring it out once it's all soaked. And then they'll start to expand. And this is what they all look like. This is before it's soaked. And this one is after it's soaked. Okay. So, um, but there's 24 pieces in here. It looks like a little pillow. Maybe I won't open them up. But anyway, there's 24 pieces in here. I paid $20.98. And these are... Uh, 30 by 30 by 2.5 centimeters so I'm gonna presume 30 centimeters is 12 inches I'm just gonna presume that because I don't know I without looking it, it up I don't know uh, what the 30 centimeters is so there's 12 of them here and these are gray and um, for the acoustic and the dog barking issue and I've tried everything to keep my dogs from disturbing the neighbors because I'm so paranoid about them disturbing the neighbors um, and so far I've gotten a complaint and uh, I did get a written warning from the city saying that someone had filed an anonymous complaint about the dogs barking and uh, so you know that's loud or they're just really irritated um, so I had to it, it, they gave me they said if I got another complaint within the next 12 months this was a couple years ago if I got another complaint within 12 months that they would find me so I was desperately trying to figure out a way short of getting rid of the dogs to keep them quiet or keep, keep keep them from bothering the neighbors and it was my next door neighbor on one side and um but yeah so I tried the I didn't the only thing I didn't want to try was that collar that shock collar because that actually will do harm to their skin and uh, make them lose hair in that area and that's just it just sounds so that was just, oh, it just sounds so cruel. So I didn't want to do that, but I got the, the muzzles. <laughs> and in the muzzles, it tells you to um, put a little bit of peanut butter on the, ins on the outside of it so they'll lick it. And it'll make them, you know, it'll, it'll, it'll let them put it on easier. It'd be easier for you to put it on them because they'll get lick that peanut butter and just go right into it and you know without no problems but latte she's smart she did she was not having that muscle and every single time I put it on her she would get out of it just I'd be sitting there and she'd just go walking by without her little muzzle I'm like oh my god <laughs> how tight do I have to make this thing it doesn't matter she would get out of it she gets out of everything I bought this expensive dog great thing for her so whenever I go places I could just have her on my arm in the dog crate and she chewed through that thing and I was so mad because I paid so much money for it she gets out of everything so there was nothing keeping that dog in so um, I seriously think there's something wrong with her <laughs> in her brain because she is just out there um so, but Jack, he'll go in and he'll sit there very nicely. If he's barked, he knows it's time for the muzzle. And he'll put it on and he'll sit there quietly until time is up. It's like the timeout thing to do. And he'll sit there all nice and quiet until uh, it's time to take it off. Sweepy, she knows. She's learned from just watching Jack and Latte. So, Sweepy, when she sees the muzzles out, she will not bark. 
and uh, <laughs> she won't work at all. So she's only had to have it on one time and she went in real nicely and I only kept it on her for about five minutes. But Jack, I've, the longest I've kept it on him was about half an hour. And uh, Latte, the longest she's kept it on was probably about less than three minutes. So that didn't work. I've tried everything. So this is my last resort is putting the acoustic um, pillows up to try to keep the noise in my house. <laughs> it's just going to just be noisy. I just don't have a choice. I'm, I'm going to have to keep it in my house somehow. So this seems like uh, a good idea. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> but that was the purpose for buying these. Okay, I may have already shown these. Um, this is another item that whenever I have a uh, get a Timu order, I'm gonna be ordering at least one pack of these. Um, this last order I ordered, I believe three, and I paid three thirty nine uh, each for them. They work very good, so I got these for my closets um, to put in my closets. And um, the other big one I have is uh, with the four that you screw, actually screw bulbs in. I have that in my dining room because the chandelier over my table it it just it's, it's just not enough light. So, and it's one of those dimmer light thingies. So, I actually used an extender which I'll show you here that I purchased. It was a two pack and um, I used that to extend from the top of the from the bottom of the chandelier uh, because I couldn't stick it all the way up there without that extender and um, then I added the little four prong light onto the extender and screwed it in the bottom of my chandelier so it works beautifully and I have so much light in my dining room now and that's where my uh, office desk is so when I work from home and there's never enough light in there so um, that's what I did. But these are the type of bulbs that I will be using from now on. The mini fan blade LED bulbs. They work beautifully. And I'm not sure how long they last. But, you know, with them being in the closets, I don't have to keep a light on with these all the time. So I'm sure they'll last for a good little while. But it says here they're... Um, Mini fan blade, they're 85 to 365 volts, uh, 28 watts, and Dongguan Sumai Technology Co. LTD is the manufacturer out of uh, Zongbang. Is this a, I'm not sure if that's in China or where that's out of. But it says it complies with part 15 of the FCC rules operation. Uh, it, this device may not cause harmful interference and this device must accept any interference received including interference that may cause undesired operation I guess that's part of that electricity talk but yeah these work very very well and so every time I do a team of order I will have at least one of these to uh to keep my supply up for my household supply. This right here is a body sponge and it's nice and soft now. And I was reading the reviews on it and it said on the reviews that it gets, after you use it, it gets hard and then it goes soft again once you wet it again. But I bought three of these. Really? I don't have a price on this one. The price is on the other one that I'm not showing. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, that feels really moist. That's really moist. So, And it was nice and sealed in this bag. But supposedly it takes off the dead skin. And so you wet your skin. And you scrape this. And it takes off the dead skin. Um, a lot of people buy it for their feet. I saw a lot of reviews where people used it on their feet. And uh, 
this is another item my mom snatched up from me yesterday. Uh, so, <laughs> needless to say, I only have two now. But I did buy three. So if this works well, I'm going to... I bought it for my face and to use one on my face and to use one on my feet. So, um... <clears throat> So, um, we'll see if it works here. I got some tape. I want to tape this back closed. Because it was really moist there. And it's it was sealed, too. Uh, so, but it's supposed to harden. It gets hard after it dries out. And then, to get it soft again, you just wet it. So, close that back up there. And I'll find the price for you in just a second and let you know what it was. Okay, step by. Next, we have shoes. And, you know, most of my shoes I would use outside, like when I'm watering the garden or something outside. So I don't, you know, bring in my other shoes wet. So... I got a lot of these because, you know, you can use them in water. Um, so, um, for this pair, I paid $8 and I believe $8 and 69 cents for this pair. And the only reason I have them in white is because the other ones were out of stock. I wanted them in green. It was like a leaf green, but yeah. The others were out of stock. This is a size 42 to 43. And a size 42, I believe, is a 9. Because a 41 is an 8.5, I believe. So it'll fit a 9 and a 10 foot. Okay. Okay, this is the item that I have. I have put in my chandelier. And because this wouldn't fit in the bottom of my chandelier, I had to use one of those little extensions. Um, and I'll show you what that one looks like. It looks like one of these just by itself. And I plug this into one of these and then stuck it up in my chandelier. And now I have all this light in my chandelier. And oh my goodness, it's so nice to have light in my dining room. But I just wanted to show you that quick. Okay, this is that light socket extender. Extender I paid three dollars and thirty-eight cents for the two-pack, and um, that's what I have in that uh, to go up into the bottom of that uh, chandelier socket because um, you can't just screw a light bulb in it um, or the the part that I have in there. It needs the extender. Okay, I got quite a few pairs of shoes in the slot. Um, this was one pair, and they call it the Women's Rhinestone Wedge Flip Flop. I paid eleven dollars and sixty nine cents. This is a size nine. A forty two is a size nine and a half, and the color is khaki. On these, they're really light. All their shoes are really light. Um. This feels spongy a little bit, and this feels really light and spongy, but a different type of spongy feel, like a plasticky sponge, sponge, sponge feeling. Um, but the size is 42, which is a nine and a half. Oh, I'm sorry, I paid, oh, I think I told you, $11.69 for this pair. Okay, this pair here, they say that they're art support, another nine and a half. Um, I pay eight dollars and sixty-eight cents for these. They're called the color is light brown, and um, these are also nine and a half. And they call them an art support flower flip flop, solid color, open toe, non slip, thong slippers. And that bottom there, they're really, really light. I love the piping along the sides there. 
so nine and a half. Very pretty. Okay, here's another shoe. Um, it's called the, a flower decor tea strap sandal. I paid twelve dollars and nine cents for this. Um, solid color. Oh, they're actually down forty. They're down now, down to ten ninety eight. I'm looking on the website at them. This is a nine and a half, as well. They usually, when I try to order nines, they're usually out of stock. And I won't order bigger because that would be too big. But another reason why I normally will order a nine and a half is because I don't want my heel hanging off the edge because it really hurts and I wouldn't be able to walk around in them for long. And I don't want my toe hanging off the edge because it really hurts. So I get a nine and a half just to make sure I have enough room in the shoe. Um, and again, I paid twelve oh nine for this pair. Um, this pair actually has the uh, the um, Velcro where you can adjust it, the back, and then you can adjust the top as well. But. It's a really pretty color. This color, they call it yellow. Very pretty color. And all their shoes are really light. Very light. Okay. Here's a red pair. I bought two red pairs. I don't have enough red pair of shoes, so. <laughs> this is a nine and a half. A 42 is a nine and a half and again the reason I got the nine and a half was because of this edge here I don't want my heel hanging off because it would be very very uncomfortable um, but I got these in two different colors no the other pair the other pair I have uh, I got my mom has but they're not like that one um, let's see here um, I'm not able to find these on any of my orders, so I don't know where the shoe came from. Um, so I'm going to have to keep searching for this shoe on these orders that I've gotten in recently. Uh, but yeah, I don't see this shoe on any of the orders. So let me move on. Okay, this is another nine and a half um, shoe. I wear nine, but I order these a nine and a half to make sure my heel's not going to be hanging over the side. Uh, but these are flower embroidered wedged. Uh, slippers, open toe, retro arch support. It doesn't feel like much arch support because that feels a little hard. But there's, I love the piping they have on this stuff here. But uh, this is like a real hard plastic foamy type thing. And these, I paid for these. Eight or nine sixty nine. I just noticed that they've gone up to eleven and some change now. But these are in the color of blue. Okay, this red pair here. Um, nine and a half, forty two, in the color of red. I absolutely love these shoes. Um, I tried them on. And they they fit beautifully they look really pretty on your foot because um, this looks really nice and tight on that foot so um, they're not loose or anything like that but um, this doesn't have any piping on the outside of the shoe but it's really a nice shoe very pretty very nice um, this is, uh, I paid $13.09 for these, and um, 
they've gone up in price on the site uh, and they're now $14.58. They come in three colors. It looks like a, a beige, red, and black. These are really, really nice. I really like them. Okay, these are the uh, floral rhinestone wedge in the color of dark brown. I don't think this is dark brown. This looks more like a khaki. Um, these are, yeah, because the, these are bigger. These are size 43s. And that is not the size that I have here. Um, size guide. 43 is a size, oh, I guess it is a size 9. Uh, 42 is an eight and a half. Okay. I've been ordering. My size is too small. 42 is an eight and a half. 43 is a nine. That's weird. <clears throat> okay, but this is a size nine. Oh, centimeters. Oh, it's weird though. Switch to inches. Okay, um, all right, okay, I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm wasting too much time here on that. But it says these shoes, this color is dark brown. Um, the blue pair that I had that I ordered, I ordered two pairs, and the blue pair that I ordered, my mom wanted those, so she has those. I paid $13.49. For the navy blue pair and the um, the dark brown color and uh, my mom really likes the way these feel on her foot and she's real picky about her shoes so but she likes these so they're actually on sale now at their websites or at the the seller sites they're actually on sale for seven dollars and 48 cents but it must be the smaller sizes because I can't find them in stock for a eight and a half, nine, or nine and a half. Well, they don't look like they go as high as nine and a half, but they're not in stock, stock for the larger size. Okay. Okay, I did order a pair of these in yellow. And Oh my goodness. These things feel like you're walking on clouds. I actually have in my cart now, almost about to submit all the color, all the other colors that they have in stock that I don't have. And I only have the yellows. So I have in my cart the black, the green, and I think a gray pair. Those are the only ones I saw that were out on the website that were in stock. Um, but I did these feel so good on the feet and they're so soft I'm gonna have a pair um, take a pair with me to work and whatever color I'm wearing that day if I have to go into the office so that I can change into them when I get to the office because they're so doggone comfortable and um, for these let's see what I paid I paid three dollars and forty nine cents for them um, but they're actually in my bathroom right now, so I can't even show them to you. <laughs> but they are the comfortablest shoe I have ever worn. They feel really, really good. So, that does it for me for today. Um, I think that was all I had. Oh, goodness, I do have some more to show. So that isn't all I have. I still have this that I haven't even gone through and shown yet. <laughs> I thought I showed it, but evidently not. Okay, I'm so sorry. Here's that sponge. I paid, I bought three of these and I paid 69, 68 cents for them. All three. Okay. I'm going to run through this. This is the dog uh, or cat groomer comb. 
um, and you can comb out mites and everything. I paid a dollar ninety eight cents for that. For these, I got four, but I gave one to my brother. Um, the, I put, they were all different price, so. Um, this is the green one. I paid a dollar twenty-eight. The yellow one I paid a dollar ninety-eight. And then the blue one and the black one that I gave to my brother, I paid eighty-eight cents for each one. The blue and the black one. I knew I was forgetting something. I bought two of these ice scoopers. And um My mom, I gave I bought one for me and one for my mom. Uh, I paid a dollar ninety eight cents for them. Um, let's, let's looking for another bag to put these in. Okay. And then what else did I get? I got some nose rings. These are the swirly swirly kind. There's three different colors, so it's silver, gold, and black. And these I paid 71 cents for the pack. I'm trying to get closer. This is a ring. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I uh, I paid 98 cents for it. I was wearing it on my thumb, so since I've shown it to you, I can put it back on my thumb now. These are just, uh, this is a nose ring. It's a heart. Let's see. If I take it out, maybe you can see it. Don't want to lose it. But it is a heart. And it's that kind of nose ring that you have to twist it up in your nose. These are the best kind because then you won't lose it. It won't fall out like when you're in the shower or whatever. Uh, but for this one, I paid 80 cents for it. <clears throat> oh, I don't want to show that yet. This is the Tree of Life ring. Um rings that I buy like this are stainless steel and I only buy them if they're stainless steel because I like keeping them on all the time I don't take them off ever um, I paid a dollar 48 for it for it so I have quite a few rings that are stainless steel that have different things in them so dollar uh, forty eight for that okay these are some more nose rings and they're different ones there's a heart and and there there's a, a couple studs and there several I paid 209 for the pack and it's a set of five another set here a set of three and and these are let's see what's all in here no one is a heart oh a heart a butterfly and a stud I believe can't really see them but that's what's in here for the set of three I paid um, 134 these, this was a set of three. My mom got hope to the smallest. And they're um, rhinestone or stone. They're not real silver, but they're real pretty color, but they're hoops. And they were small, medium, and large. My mom has the smaller pair. But for each of these, I paid uh, 143 I believe, for all, each one. No, 
143 for the middle medium middle medium pair or middle pair 188 for the larger pair and I can't remember what I paid for the smaller pair but it was less than 143 so and my mom has that so I guess it doesn't really matter does it you know uh, let's see what else do I have in here just a couple more things okay I think this bag threw me because I have some art supplies that I didn't want to show yet not until my next art supply haul um, here's one of those extensions that uh, I've already used the other one that came in this pack but it comes in as a set of two a pair and um, I paid $3.38 for the two extension. I'm going to order some more of these just in case, you know, I need them. Maybe, maybe a couple more just to have on hand as a household tool in case I need it. This is another ring. I paid $2.68 for it. It's like a band. I thought it was very pretty. All my rings are size size nines. So I'm going to take it out and put it on so that you can see it. There it is. Let's see if I can go up more. That's that one. That band. There's the tree of life. And there is that band. And here's that ring I had yesterday, or the other day, that they said were was a man's ring. Okay, again, I paid $2.68 for that one. And I think this is the last item. It's a kitchen timer. I paid $1.98 for it. And I haven't, I did open it up, but I just haven't set it up or anything yet. But that's the kitchen timer. Runs on one AAA, one AAA battery. And it actually has a magnet back here where you can put it on your fridge, your stove, or whatever magnet you have in your kitchen. You can use it on there. Okay, so that's it for today. And um, I guess we will see you in the next haul video. Bye-bye and happy Timu.